Welcome back to my Let's Play of Xenonauts. Uh, last time we had kind of a catastrophic loss. They killed our entire squad all in the confines of their corvette. I think they had four aliens in there and they actually killed our entire squad. Heavy armor and all. They did not care one bit that we had heavy armor. and They absolutely destroyed us. It was not good. So, I am going to try and come back from my second loss. I think if it's like the way it was before, yes, we do keep our armor. We have lost our weapons, but we also have a large amount of engineers. Uh, we are running a little low on money. I don't know how we're running low on money. We actually just airstriked like three ships. Maybe it costs money to replace our transport ship. I thought we had like 300,000. That would explain it. That would explain why we get the ship back. I actually would be okay with that. Uh, we did finish our wolf battle armor. Uh, I really wanted to go to the Buzzard Scout armor, but we absolutely can't do anything without laser weapons at this point. Like, we're just we're not going to do enough damage. And we can only afford a couple of them at the moment. But uh, we'll start production on four. How long is that going to take? Five days. Still with 70 engineers, it's going to take five days to get our laser rifles back. Uh, we may be going through a period of not actually invading the ships. Uh, our air force is still strong. That's the only thing keeping us afloat. Uh, we did construct a storeroom. But now we do not have the funds to produce things in that other base, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, we got some new soldiers. They will undoubtedly be getting a chance to die soon. Uh, pausing the laser rifle. Let's see if there's anything we can sell. It's generally not a good idea to sell much in this game. Yeah, yeah, we don't have an abundance of any resources. So uh, we're just going to wait for some more ships. Uh, we get a small ship, we'll send our condors after that. Get a medium ship with a couple of very small escorts. Ooh, we might... Uh, and see, this is where the problem comes in. We can't just send our foxtrots out after this because the fighters will kill them. Uh, but our condors we just sent out, we could send them back. Actually, yes, you will return to base. This one will be intercepted by one foxtrot. And then when you get back to base, we will send you out. Uh, we get another ship, unescorted though. Now oh, we already sent our condors back. It'll take just a few minutes to refuel. I don't ever like sending the condors out not fully fueled because they really just don't get very far. All right. Psst. Tail these guys until they're over land. And this mission might be a little more difficult. Uh, we will slow, no, not the condor. We will slow the foxtrot way down. And we will, why is he? Oh, we have two Foxtrots. Oh, I did not realize I did that. Um, should be okay. Our Condor should be able to handle it. I think. I have faith. I think he killed them all, and our foxtrots did not take a single shot. Excellent. Take off their turbo boost. Go a normal 
speed. And now you can slow down. They definitely turn a lot faster when they're going slow. Sometimes you, when you want to retreat, you slow down and then kick in the afterburner. And this Corvette is going to be quite dead in just a minute. Why? Why are you coming back around? Did I tell you to do that? I should not have told you to do that. You want to run away. And he is dead. Guess I shouldn't have uh, talked about them escorting their Corvettes last time we, we took one down. Um, definitely I'm not going to be attacking a Corvette at the moment. It is going to get airstruck. But we definitely need to down every single ship. We need every scrap of money we can get at the moment. Uh, I mean, we'll get money at the end of the month, but we need to keep our production going constantly. One torpedo, hopefully be enough. No, it will not. Oh, I think I made this mistake last time. Okay, took a little damage. And what was this? Was this a medium? It was a medium. We'll let our fox track go and reload, and hopefully he can take another trip out. And this one is going to be similar to the last escort we did, except we have two condors this time. I like to have everything split up. The, when everything's grouped up, it just makes it hard to, to keep track. Let's hold our missiles. You guys can just take them out with guns. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, our Foxtrot just shot his torpedoes at the fighter. That's not good. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Well, they killed him. Apparently he did not want to dodge the torpedoes. Uh, you can go ahead and run away. Uh, I guess you can... No. Oh, he's going after the Foxtrot. That's a wise decision. He's the threat to you, right? <laughs> Never mind, he's out of ammo. Maybe you guys need to work on your uh, intelligence gathering of our ships. Work out some better strategies. Whew. That almost turned bad quickly. But we got the ship down. Uh, you're taking an airstrike. You're taking an airstrike. Hopefully, we can get something up there to shoot the other ship down. Uh, they just don't have any ammo. I wish you could uh, decide what gets taken care of first when they land. You can see they're refueling first, which, you know, this one's already got enough fuel. I just want him loaded with a couple of missiles. Would be nice. And he has missiles. At least they do the missiles before they do the repairing, because that takes forever. And we should be able to get him as well. I will not hold anything back. He will shoot both torpedoes. Uh don't know if that will be enough to kill him. We might have to actually make two trips. Yep. Wouldn't be the first time I had to send one ship out several times to kill an enemy UFO. So he will have to be refueled, which is of course time consuming, so the Corvette may run away before then. Oh, I need to stop doing that. No wonder it's been so long. Oh, there was nothing being researched. Oh, that's not good at all. Um, yeah, I, 
guess we'll just research directional thrusters. Oh, I'm just full of fail today. I'll send out another Foxtrot. And this should be pretty easy. You know, I, I never ever forget to add new research, and apparently during this game it's happened several times. I don't know why. They should have a big red warning in the corner. It's like, warning, you are not researching anything. Why would you ever want to do that? I thought it had been a while since I read a, a research description, and that would explain why. Uh, they're almost done with the laser rifles. And they are done. Uh, I don't think we can make any other weapons except another laser rifle, so we may as well. I think seven is the number that I would shoot, or five is the number I would shoot for. We get another medium ship. Uh, it's going to die very quickly because it is right next to our base. I'm surprised they actually haven't tried to assault my base with how much they're they're beating me on the ground. Maybe just because I'm shooting everything down so quickly, they haven't been able to try it. Uh, and another medium ship. We will wait for our foxtrots to reload another medium ship again over here a small ship we can send our condor after that wow we are going to lose a lot of money this month I would figure with how many alien ships we shot down they would be okay but apparently they've heard how much we fail on the ground. Uh, and that one got away. I suppose we can send him after the medium ship and he can at least do some damage. Ah. Okay. So we don't need any getting away from us. until overland. They really don't need much combat fuel. There's no way this condor is going to be able to switch targets again. You return to base and refuel. And then we'll send you after the small one. Oh. Why? Uh, we can't let him fly around too much longer. He turned around. Yeah, we have to just engage. At least all I have to do is fly in range, launch our torpedoes, and leave. You, oh, this must be a bomber. It looks like he is bombing that area. Yep, it is indeed a bomber. And our Foxtrots are refueling. We can send our Condor out after him. I don't know if he's even going to have enough ammo to destroy it. Yeah, they're not going to be happy. Hopefully he can... Oh, he doesn't have much fuel either. Oh. Hopefully he can avoid the missiles. Because a single one of those will instantly kill him. Ah. Oh. Like that. Yeah, 
had our fox shots already. He should only need one. We'll send a fox trot after each. Maybe we can get him. Oh, he's destroying more. Oh, this bomber needs to die. Though our fox trots can't avoid the bombs, so this could be bad. Mutual destruction. Well, take one for the team, Foxtrot. I did get a data core and some alenium and some alloys from it, so that's always good. This has been just a, a terrible, terrible month. This should be an easy kill. Strike that. Well, at least we've gotten money to to produce some weapons. And we get the laser rifle. Don't have enough money to produce anything else. Uh, we get the bomber UFO analysis. The extraterrestrial bomber is a medium-sized UFO specialized into a ground attack role. Though easy prey for our interceptors, it can quickly rain death and destruction on a funding nation and sour our relations accordingly. As it did, though it was not exactly easy prey for our interceptor, it absolutely destroyed one. But okay. It employs two linked electromagnetic torpedo launch tracks to do so, forming a semicircular structure on the rear half of the saucer. Each torpedo is powerful enough to sink a ship, and we believe the bomber capable of launching a pair every six seconds, making casualties from any strafing run a virtual certainty. Thankfully, they are unguided and travel too slowly to be of any practical use against aerial targets. Incorrect. Making the bomber vulnerable in combat. The entire craft has been designed around these weapons. The thin wings jutting out from either side of the saucer are likely intended to stabilize the craft during an attack run. While the saucer itself is largely hollow and presumably mostly used for ammunition storage, the Harridan pilot, craft reactor, and avionics are all crammed into a small area at the front. We actually believe that this is the reason why little of these UFOs survives an interception, as the remaining torpedoes tend to detonate either immediately or on impact with the ground. In short, the bomber is an underwhelming combatant, but one that must be dealt with quickly. Yeah. Yay, we actually get a new research. Directional Thruster Array. Extraterrestrial craft are fascinating for many reasons, not least their extraordinary maneuvering ability. Their fighters dance through the air like graceful ballerinas, and even their ponderous capital ships can hover in place and turn far more quickly than their size should allow. It seems the recovered directional thruster array explains how this is possible. The device consists of a central brain and a series of rotatable thrusters mounted outside the ship's hull. These thrusters were clearly originally designed for maneuvering in a vacuum, but during atmospheric flight take on the combined role of wings, stabilizers, and elevators. An outer shell of tiny flaps, each able to provide tiny amounts of vectored thrust, allows an immense amount of control over the output of each individual thruster. Collectively, a network of a dozen or more of these thrusters gives a craft the ability to perform some fairly remarkable acrobatics. Though this system is hardly energy efficient compared to conventional flight control systems, alien craft generate enough power that this is not a problem. And the brain is an oval structure roughly the size of a car engine. It contains a crowded arrangement of sensors and a dense dense mass of biological electronics that we believe automatically stabilizes the flight of the UFO based on the incoming sensor data. Unfortunately, this biological brain would be too complex to replicate, but it may be possible to substitute it. Automated control systems for spacecraft have been around for almost 20 years, so I imagine with a little time my team would be able to adapt and improve the existing designs to create something capable of controlling a few of these thrusters. We may not be able to create a system as elegant as the extraterrestrial one, but even a basic solution could dramatically improve the performance of our interceptors and dropships. Let's go to the research screen, and because we don't want to leave nothing being researched. Um, I think we've left too long. We haven't really done the analysis of the aliens, and we actually do extra damage against them when we analyze them, and the civilians are getting hard to kill, so it couldn't be bad. It shouldn't take long. And indeed, there it is. Civilian analysis. I am impressed, Commander. Quite how your men managed to subdue such a creature is beyond me. Now it has been safely confined in the containment tank, we have been able to perform a detailed analysis on it. 
The tests confirmed our initial suspicions. Civilians possess only rudimentary intelligence, have bad eyesight, and struggle to operate firearms. However, they are remarkably agile for such hulking creatures and can cover ground surprisingly quickly. Like an alien officer going across a ship and shooting somebody in the back. They also possess astonishing regenerative abilities. Unless the creature is actually dead, it will regenerate virtually any damage sustained to its body, brain included, in a matter of minutes. This ability seems to arise from unspecialized stem cells in the civilian bloodstream, which replicate at an incredible rate and can replace complex organs such as eyes or nerves just as easily as simpler structures such as muscle tissue. Clearly, the volume of tissue being regenerated is too great for this to be a natural process. We believe inherent regenerative abilities are being supercharged by the nanoparticles of alenium in alien blood serum, providing the vast quantity of energy needed to rebuild entire body parts in minutes rather than weeks. This analysis has brought two tangible results. The first is an upgrade to our battlefield metapacks, which borrow from an alien nanotechnology to help this stabilize battlefield injuries. Sadly, full-blown tissue regeneration would require decades of genetic engineering. These improved metapacks replace our previous ones and will heal at twice the rate. The second result is a summary of known civilian weaknesses, which should cause your men to inflict approximately 10% more damage when fighting these enemies. I will take it. I need every single edge that I can get. Let's try the caissons. Caisson analysis. These pallid creatures are most disconcerting in the flesh, Commander. They are a twisted mockery of our own species, resembling us so closely that one cannot help but feel a creeping sense of revulsion when you stare into their malevolent eyes. In practical terms, a caisson is a superior approximation of a human soldier. They are highly intelligent and accorded excellent situational awareness by their oversized eyes. Their manual dexterity and reflex speed is much the same as our own. They behave much like human military forces, engaging at long range and making good use of battlefield cover. Despite their frail physiology, their equipment makes them difficult to kill. Even the ubiquitous jumpsuit offers remarkable protection and is supplemented with an additional protective gear at higher ranks. Scans have revealed that the brain tissue of these creatures is unusually active, with samples taken during autopsies suggesting that it is extraordinarily rich in energy-dense alenium nanoparticles. As we have already established that these creatures communicate via telepathy, this hints at further, as yet unknown, mental abilities. Finally, we have concluded the analysis by collecting collating all known vulnerabilities in case on equipment, tactics, and physiology into a document for your soldiers. This additional knowledge should increase the damage they inflict on these enemies by approximately 10%. Okay. Um, I think we'll analyze the Reaper. I don't know if that gives us anything else good, but they are hard to take down, so... And look at that funding. Oh, we lost Australasia. And yeah, I'm guessing you actually cannot get them back. Uh, we lose if we lose the funding from four regions. Uh, we are relatively close to losing South America. Yeah, this, mm, this playthrough might come to an end before too, too long. We only took in $145,000. That is not good. That is not good at all. And we get some very small aliens. Just launch our condors at them because our foxtrots will be useless. Launch our foxtrots at the medium. Uh, we will engage. They're just fighters. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just avoid their missiles. And we take them all out. Took some damage, but got all of them. And we get some alien allies. We do need to start our production of one scatter laser. I guess we absolutely need our machine gun laser. Uh, get a Corvette. Should be an easy kill. I'm glad they haven't upgraded to their stronger ships yet. We are definitely lagging behind. And I I can't keep losing squads. I don't think we're going to get any new technology from it, so it needs to take an airstrike, I think. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We just need to absolutely destroy every single alien that we see. Um, 
even to the point, I think, when our Foxtots refuel, when we start seeing these things pop up around the map, uh, we can send our Foxtots out to scout them. I don't usually do that, but uh, I need every edge that I can get at the moment. And we find one. Though he did enter our radar range, so that might have been because of that. But still. And we'll just launch and run away. Hopefully he doesn't get away. Hopefully he goes back over land, and he does. And he is about to die. Now the question is, do I want to actually invade him yet? We don't even have weapons. For everybody. Um, I think. God, this is terrible. Um, okay. We're going to load everybody up. I mean, we need more money. We can't be avoiding the missions forever. Find our three highest strength, 40, 47, 40, 38, so 47, 51, 60, okay, you're definitely getting the wolf armor, 51, I, god, I'll get the jackal armor, 36, you're definitely getting the jackal armor, you barely can handle that, 41, jackal armor, 47, you'll get the wolf armor. You'll get the jackal armor. Oh man, do we not even have people strong enough to use the wolf armor? I mean, we need to. People are dying. They just won't be able to carry any grenades at all. Not a single one. And we'll have to use our laser weapons. Uh. Well, at least our other people can carry some grenades. I think we'll make sure all of the people with the heavy armor get laser rifles. Because I think they're going to be out in front. not even going to have very many grenades on this mission. But that's okay. I have a plan. Whether or not it will work, I am not sure. But we're going to try it. <clears throat> and we're out of laser rifles. Okay. Something that I have not used this playthrough is the rocket launcher. <laughs> Apparently, the rocket launcher with the missiles is very heavy. I think they raised the weight of it. Mm. I guess we can leave them unarmored. Uh, 
I know he has way too much weight on him, but we will just drop those at the beginning of the mission. stun rockets. Use the stun rockets because I don't want to lose the money, which we desperately need. And I, I think because the ballistic weapons just are not going to be very useful. We may as well make the rest of our people now, I just know I'm going to do this and launch this mission, and we are going to run up against the mechanical enemies, <laughs> which the rockets are completely useless against. Uh, I guess I should take a couple, take a couple of the actual explosive grenades that are wrong, just in case things go bad. We'll see how this goes. I guess you may as well put your... Uh, you won't even have enough time units to drop the stuff when we get there? Okay. Alright. Let's uh, see if we can make this work. How are we losing that much money? Let's send our foxtrots out there, see if they can see something happening. Oh, are we going to get there at night? Uh, I hope we're not. I hope we are not. It looks like we might have... We did. Oh, oh, this this has just been a terrible, terrible day. Uh, I don't foresee things going well at all on this. On that note, I think that is it for this episode. Uh, things are bad. Things are, are very bad. Uh, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to play this out. It's it's possible to recover. We could we could not lose any more countries and and get ourselves back on track. It's just going to be very very difficult. Uh, but I'm going to try. I thank you guys for watching. I will uh, go recover my self esteem and take another shot at this another time. And uh, see you guys later.